I'm William Rose. I'm a farmer uh, based up here in Inverness in Scotland. Uh, we farm about 3,000 acres here. Most areas of, of agriculture in the UK are not doing very well. There's overproduction of a lot of different things and it's very difficult to make proper return on the investment. If you're a producer, you uh, haven't got a clue what you're going to get paid when you plant the crop. The market's quite depressed. You can not supply supermarket really anymore unless you're um, on a very big scale. I think there's a, a lot of reasons to want to try and find ways to make farming business more resilient and uh, stronger and um, we've certainly tried to put ourselves in a position where we've got multiple streams of income which are diverse from each other. One of the ways in which business uh, have a more predictable income is to produce feedstock for an AD plant. We've um, pretty much locked up a portion of our farming enterprise into a profit-making situation for, well, for 20 years. I became quite interested in the approach that Keeler were taking to separate a single stage process into two stages, which meant that the feedstocks which I have would be better and more easily digested. The Keeler approach, it's a pretty simple model. You know, I provide the, the site, I provide the feedstock, and I'm paid for the site, and I'm paid for the feedstock. The planning application is done by them, the costs of that are borne by them. If it's a failure, then that's really their problem. The construction will then follow fairly quickly. It can be a very low stress procedure. We will shortly, in fact tomorrow, start um, silaging our first cut grass. We will be paid for that um, during the summertime. So even though um, we were to start building a plant today, which wouldn't be in operation for say six months, we would actually be paid for all the feedstock that we produced this, this summer, during the summer. It's a very immediate way of, of generating income. For us, our, our biggest feedstock here is grass silage. We have a lot of farmyard manure from our cattle. It's going forward that's going to be fed into the digester and we end up at the end of the process with a material that's called digestate. It's a fertilizer and it's a direct replacement for conventional fertilizers. So that's generating a six-figure sum in terms of value. You know, it's a great additional benefit. So the thing about anaerobic digestion in the UK at the moment is that it works in part because there are green subsidies paid to support green energy. Those subsidies are reducing as the uh, capacity um, of AD increases in the UK. If you haven't uh, been able to produce gas and inject it into the network during 2016, then um, there's a very strong chance that uh, the plants won't be viable. And there's still time to get a plant built. If you speak to Keeler, they'll put in a planning application. And if that's done without delay and gas is injected before the end of the year, then it's still very, very doable at this point. I think that um, if every farming business had a proportion of its um, productive capacity um, directed at feeding an anaerobic digester and pretty much guaranteed it's going to be profitable for um, 20 years, there, there, there's nothing really out there that um, you know, uh, could, you know, you could, could emulate that.